level motherfuckers. Um, I think my audio is going to be fucked up. And I think it's because I got too much storage in my phone. So after this video, I'm probably not going to record for a while. Because, like, I just don't like the sound of it. I noticed it on my last video. So, um, yeah. But, welcome back. Your girl is sick, if you could tell. And, um, just, um, keep me in your good graces because I've been sick for a few days. And I thought I was feeling better until I took some medicine last night. And then when I woke up, it was like, eh. So, yeah, just to clear some shit up with the hair company that I spoke about previously. Yes, y'all. They motherfucking ass and did not give me a refund whatsoever. Um, they and they was the one that was just so like, we'll refund you, we'll refund you, we'll refund you. Never got it because, like I said, they're scammers, they're frauds. So, anyways, um, yes, I'm gonna just clarify, um, the update or whatever because I did put an update, um on my last video but this is just to like let y'all know what fully happened with the rest of the video I mean with the rest of the drama so starting back in my last video I told her I was having issues with the wig blah 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 and yeah <laughs> um if y'all want to see that video I'll probably put it in the description box and then you know but um yeah I am so sick this is ridiculous I don't want to even sound like myself but anyways um Last time I talked to them, they I think they asked like um, if I measured it, it, measured it, and I said like, you know, clearly I'm not talking to the same person, so I'm gonna just I responded or whatever. I just said I'm never gonna order from y'all again. So then fast forward, um, I did not email them back because they did said that um, I think they said they could refund me like. $20 right right then and there. I was just like, they just full of shit. So they didn't get an email. And I guess they peaked that because they emailed me the next day. And then they was like, we can refund you 40 And I said, like, I asked for 50 I should have been given that. And um, I think I said, like, now that you guys know I'm bringing this to my YouTube channel. So it wasn't like they wasn't aware they knew that I was bringing this to my YouTube channel. I told them that I was. So, um, and I said, like, now that y'all know that, I'm going to bring this to my YouTube to spread awareness to everybody that's um, thinking about buying hair from y'all. I'm letting them know, like, don't do it. And um, I told them, like, y'all seem guilty now because y'all know, like, this is about to be all over different social medias and stuff and um y'all just trying to brush past it <clears throat> y'all trying to ignore it and um i'm not having it like y'all should have listened to me when i said the wig was fucked up y'all should have went by the proof that i showed y'all it just gave me a motherfucking refund of what i asked for but instead y'all want to keep doing this back and forth shit and i'm not with that so so yeah they knew i was bringing this to my youtube channel and um, I said like this, they said like it won't never happen again and blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, I'm not sweeping this under the rug. Like I'm not finna just take my video down just because y'all asked me to. Like y'all knew y'all fucked up and y'all gonna see that. And like I even got thumbs down on the video I did. So motherfuckers probably lurking on my shit and be like, oh, she really did her video. I was not playing. So, um... Yeah, uh, what happened? I think they was like, wait, I, I said that I will take the $40 even though it wasn't 50 but, um, I looked at like, shit, I paid for the wig, I should be compensated in some way, and y'all go see screenshots of all that. So, um, so then on the next email, they was talking about, like, different wigs, different, uh, densities and all that. Let's see. I don't give a fuck about that. But, um, they were just telling me about that, and then they, they basically try to be, um, like, slick with it, and me all like, well, you did say it was okay with the $40, right, and, like, bitch, I know what the fuck I said, 
and um on my next uh email well before that they was just all like whatever the fuck they were saying i really don't remember but y'all will see that and i basically told them like i was a first time customer i bought a wig for me guys it was messed up and like they kept wanting me to take my video down and i said i'm not gonna do that because like y'all know y'all messed up and like y'all want me to like basically look at the situation and just brush it off and just put everybody else in the risk of receiving a bad wig also and i'm not gonna do that like i have a lot of people that watch me especially when it comes to hair i know a lot of females like watching videos like that and i'm not just gonna take the video down just because you try to give me forty dollars it didn't you know it, it, it'll just seem like fucked up on my end because like I brought up this uh topic before and like people watched that video so if I just took the $40 and just deleted it and put you know at the end of the day I can't force somebody to order from a company but you know like people will look at me side eye if I just took the $40, delete the videos, they act like nothing happened, I wasn't going to do that, like I told them, I was going to bring this on my channel, so, it is what it is, um, I said I wasn't going to ignore it, I wasn't going to brush it off, and, um, yeah, I was just letting them know, like, I'm not playing with them, like, and, uh, with the $40 thing, like I said, uh, I said, yeah, that's fine, because I feel like if I received a fucked up wig, then I need to be compensated, and I told them, like, if y'all trying to give me a refund by having me delete my video, then y'all should be ashamed of y'all so because that's basically what happened. Like, they wanted me to delete my video. They wanted me to act like nothing happened. They wanted to act like nothing had happened and just wanted me to make the shit disappear, make the whole situation disappear, and I wasn't going to do that. So, um... I said more than once that I wasn't going to take the video down, so, uh, and I told him, like, if you only try to give me a refund, in or, like, if if I had to delete my video just to get a refund, basically, then, yeah, y'all really fucked up, like, a really fucked up company, and after that, no response. It's been since November... 20 something like way before like a few days before i mean a few days before thanksgiving and after that like after i said what i said no response whatsoever like they basically said she's not gonna take her video down so she won't be getting a refund that's pretty much all i got from the emails like they wanted me to be one of those sellouts on YouTube that know they got something fucked up and then want to take like I said like I'm, I'm not gonna act guilty about it yeah I said I want the $40 even though I asked for 50 because I was a customer that received a bad wig so I feel like I need to be compensated some way so but um the fact that they wanted me to be one of them types to just hurry up, delete my video, take this money, and keep quiet about it, don't aware nobody else on the YouTube com uh, community about it, like, I wasn't finna go out like that, because then it'll, to me, like, it'll feel like I'm not being true to myself, I started on this YouTube shit being me, which means I'm not finna change who I am just for a company, like, um, I don't know, it just gave me sellout vibes and I wasn't finna do that. Like, I started this shit being on some real shit with y'all, being open and honest with y'all about a lot of shit. I'm not finna just, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, never got a refund or anything. And, um, I'm not tripping about it because it's like a lesson learned. Like, I'm not, I'm never finna fuck with that company ever again. So, um... And I knew that's what it was going to come down to. It just seemed like they just wanted me to delete my video. And I said I wasn't going to do that. So they are just like, okay, well, she don't want to delete her video. She's not getting a refund. 
It is what it is. I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, they know that they a fucked up company. And they were literally trying to get over on me. And I wasn't having that. I would not get on here and tell y'all about a company that I wasn't satisfied with. And then soon as they try to offer me money, I just take it and then turn around to her. I mean, turn around, take my video down. I wasn't going to do that. That's basically what they wanted me to do. And I wasn't having it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, just clarifying, like, what the rest of the situation happened. And, yeah, don't, don't buy from them. I hope y'all was able to understand me. Like, now that I'm talking... It, it just seemed like I'm just talking in circles and don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, to be honest, because, like, I'm sick, I can't focus. <laughs> but, um, I hope y'all like this video. I hope that y'all don't buy from them. I hope y'all even pay attention to these motherfuckers because they are scammers and frauds and fugazi, like, don't do it. <laughs> but, yeah, I will be back soon, hopefully. And, yeah. <laughs> Bye, y'all.